All right, everyone. My name is Bob, and right now we are at the stream. We are catching some minnows as well as some larvae. So uh, this is the bucket full of minnows. Uh, that's a very, very good uh, bucket because it's allowed me to keep the minnows into constant uh, fresh water, so I don't need to worry about them for too long. Oh, we have a little frog hiding right there. And he's underneath the water, so that's cool. Um, so, I have been trying to film this video for like two times now, uh, but like the first time it was just very boring of a video, and the second time um, it just caught for some reason. So, um, I tried to catch some crayfish wasn't very lucky so in in this uh, stream uh, I usually get some minnows some stickle back so that's what we have uh, right here so far but I also sometimes uh, get some sunfish so we have a little school of minnows right here I'm going to try to get some of those oh. so the main batch of minnows is uh, in those bigger, like um, deep, deeper part of the stream, and this is where, like, the bigger uh, of the shiners and the minnows and whatnot uh, like to live. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, go here and there and just catch as many as I can. I think we're going to have a net full of. Oh my God, we didn't. <laughs> I sincerely thought we were going to get quite a few minnows out of this. So you see me very surprised. Do we have anything right now? No. Okay. Uh, let me try this again. Let me just clean the net a little bit. Now, speaking of the net, uh, it's simply the, just this part taped to a random piece of wood. Alright, so now I'm going at it with my good hand have quicker and stronger movements. Nope. Still nothing. Now the ideal for me would be to uh, like have both hands on the handle, but you know I'm trying to film something interesting. So for you all to know how I catch the minnows. Oh, we have, we got small minnows, everyone. And up, there we go. Right in there. Sorry if the video is going sideways or stuff like that, I don't have any control over this. I try to do like two things at the same time. I think I got something, no. Sorry, there, there. Ah, I'm being attacked by a fly, sorry. No, that proved my courage quite a lot. You can call this video Bob is freaking out because of a little fly. Did we get something? No. The minnows are getting smart today. No, that's not good. 
That's not good at all. Also, the net isn't like as big as I would want it. Uh, like the the handle is good. It's the size of the actual net that is weak. <sighs> the bigger size net, you have more chance to catch some minnows. <sighs> Problem isn't how many minnows there is, though. It's literally just me. Alright, so I'm going to end the video right here. I think you have understood the concept and I'm going to do a second video where I put the minnows uh, at my home because they do have a uh, place at home where I intend them to keep... Oh, we have like a big one right around there. Not sure if we can see it that well in the video. Eventually I would like to have like a GoPro and like film underneath the water, that would be very cool. I feel. So now my strategy for the rest of uh, today's fishing is going to go deep in there and try to get some minnows out of this. So thanks a lot for watching. Let me just throw a last one, just for the luck. And another last one, just for better luck. Yeah, alright, well, thanks for watching. See you all real soon. And yeah, I have quite the amount of minnows already. Ciao.